Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm talking alternate primary trios and Ellen Hudson's new release. This new release for November of 2019 includes spring images. Those of you who are tired of Christmas cards are going to be excited. Butterflies. And I'm going to show you how I made this card with Be The Change. And I did it with my Copic airbrush. I've stamped it first in Distress Oxides in the Picked Raspberry color. And then I'm just randomly blowing on three different colors. And what I decided to do, you guys have seemed to like my little color theory test things that I've been doing lately, just playing with colors. You can do it with any medium. And here I decided to take an alternate of the standard red, yellow, blue. And I'm doing pink, yellow, and teal. And what I had planned to do with this was to layer the stamps because butterflies have wings and the wings move around and have different parts to them and I thought it'd be fun to trim them out and cut them into parts and layer them so that they have sort of a fluttery feeling on the surface of the card. So starting off by just doing different colorations on each one and then when I'm all done I can decide which one is going to work best to be on the top layer? Which one do I want to be on the bottom layer? I created a background for this as well and stamped it in Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide and I used the Mondo Wildflowers so I'd have a different proportion for the flowers themselves. There is a stamp called In the Weeds. I'm going to show you that in a few minutes, but those seem too small for what I wanted. I wanted some nice big juicy flowers so I could just get a hint that there's a garden underneath of my butterflies. And I just started spraying the colors on the same as I did on the butterflies themselves. But I wanted to keep more focus on the greens except for in the shadows. So I started building up some reds in the shadow areas. Now I've cut out each of my butterflies and I'm going to use a tape runner on the bodies for the wings that lift up, you can either just let them flutter or you can put some dimensional adhesive under them. I'm going to do a combination on my card and just kind of play around with it and see which one ends up looking better. But the colors are much brighter on the butterflies that are on top than on the background. And I did that deliberately. I wanted to keep that background a little more on the mixed color dull side and then a little purer color on the butterflies themselves. You could do the same kind of thing with inking techniques. You don't have to do airbrush. But after I got it all finished, I layered it onto some pink paper and then onto some teal paper so that I'd have all that coordinate. And then since I am me, I got out my white pen. And I know some of you guys don't like my white pen. I get harassed for it all the time, but look at what it does. I can add detail to this by going over what's already there, or I can add extra. Why not? Doodling is fun. So I decided to just have a good time and put in little white highlights on things. I can go back in and reinforce their antenna. I can make them little fuzzy bodies. And yeah, why not add something to the stamp? So this one was really fun to work on and just playing around with the color, seeing which kinds of colors when I use airbrush mix better to make what kinds of other colors. And I might have some new color combinations in the back of my mind to use next time I'm doing some coloring that isn't airbrush as well, or things I can use on my watercolors, etc. So I added the sentiment and then added the extra butterfly on the inside. There's this little guy and I layered him as well. Now here's the In the Weeds set that I mentioned earlier and I made a Christmas card out of it. It does have dies that go with it. And there's a bunch of different sentiment stamps this release and I used the Tis the Season so I could put a Merry Christmas on it because I'm short on Christmas cards and I needed one. So I decided I would do that here for this release, even though it's not a Christmas season stamp. So there you go. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you're running short on your Christmas cards. I'm trying really hard not to panic, but it's not easy. So here I'm adding my same trio of colors. These are the same ones I used on the other card. And I decided to add some darker color down here randomly in the flowers because 
I wanted to, of course, use my white pen. I have a whole drawer full of these, like an amazing, ridiculous number of them come holiday season because I love my pen and just adding a bunch of details and dots to it. Now, a little trick to use for the Signo Uniball pen, a lot of people say they can't get it to work. Um, I find that people press too hard. And if you push too hard, you're basically forcing the rollerball part of the pen onto the paper and not allowing it to have that color move around the rollerball. That's what a rollerball does. It pulls the, the ink from the pen down and it coats the rollerball and then you just glide it across the surface. If you push though, it's gonna kind of push all that white ink back into the pen. So clearly by the kind of work that I can do with this pen, it's not that these pens are faulty and that they don't work. I see people trashing them all the time, but I don't have that trouble and it just could simply be the way that you're using it. The other thing is there are times when I have bought a pen and it's pr pretty much empty. You can see the, the ink inside the barrel of the pen when you buy it. So look at that and if you've got one like that, then send it back or take it back to the store or whatever because sometimes they do arrive without full ink in them because you can see when it's running out of ink. So that's my little tips for you for today. Just be nice to me and my Signo pen because I really like it. And clearly it has plenty of ink in it and it works just fine. So, so there's all my snow added onto the weeds and adding some snow in front of them too so it's falling all over the place. And I have another Christmas card for my stash. This is one that I'm not going to do a video for. I have a video coming on Ellen's channel very soon using the stamp set. And I blacked out the trees that are in there to make a little neighborhood and I drew a little house for myself so that I could have that whole scene down below for the up in the air stamp set. The last one I want to show you is these little tags and this bonbon box because I'm into making treats for my Toastmasters club so I'm going to make a bunch. This one if you cut the paper into four and a quarter by five and a half you won't be able to cut the die piece out of it so just leave it as a half sheet when you die cut and then you can get two out of it. And I have cut it and then glued them together. You make two of them and just glue them in a square. And then I decided to airbrush them because I wanted a little darker color on the bottom, get a little transition of color, but not a whole ton. And I made one in the pink, the yellow, and the blue or the teal just to keep with my color combination that I'm doing in this video. And there are no snow, snow stamps in as far as I could find any of the releases from Ellen Hudson for winter stamps, I looked through my stash and I couldn't find any. So I'm going to have to tell her to make some little snowflakes. This is from one of the MFT sets that came out recently, but I'm sure you have snowflakes in your stash. But look how cute. You can customize these for anything. You can put flowers on them for spring. You can do them for any time of year. This bonbon box is going to be one I am going to use a lot because they're so cute. I put little bow on, bows on them and then you can put initials on them for who you're going to give them to on these teeny tiny tags because they're so itsy bitsy and very cute. So there is my stuff for this release and my little study on alternate red, yellow, and blue. Just try some pink and teal and yellow sometime just to change it up from your primaries. Okay, that's it for me. I will see you again very soon. Go to the blog and comment over there because there's prizes coming. You know there is when there's a blog hop. So I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye-bye.